all my beginners out there. My name is Hannah and thank you for tuning into my channel today. If you clicked on this video, it is because you are new to yoga and you are excited to start it with me. This is going to be the sun salutations of yoga. So super easy. It's just a couple poses that you're going to flow through. We're going to start off super easy and get a little bit more advanced as we go. So you have tons of modifications to play with, tons of room to grow, and this is something super important and super fundamental to understand. So I'm excited to teach it to you and let's go ahead and get started. Alrighty, we're going to go ahead and start in what's called mountain pose. So since the feet are the foundation, make them strong. You can go ahead and put two fists in between your feet, see if they're about hip width distance apart. Palms are shining forward, roll your shoulders back and down. Focus on the breath, take deep breaths in and out through the nose, start to seal the lips. This is called our mountain pose in Sanskrit. This is called Tadasana. Allow yourself to be firm in your foundation. From here, we're gonna go ahead and bring the hands up above the head as we touch the palms and the fingertips. As we then bring the hands down to our heart. Go ahead and breathe your belly into your spine, make your back nice and flat. Keeping that flat back, fold all the way down to forward fold, placing the hands on the ground however they make it there. We're gonna find a halfway lift, flattening the back, straightening the legs as much as you can, stretch through your vertebrae. Hands come back on the ground as you step the legs back into a high plank. Adjusting yourself as needed, go ahead and drop down to the knees, untuck the toes, hinge at the elbows as you lower the upper body all the way down to the earth. Rolling the upper body up as we come into cobra. And go ahead and release the head down to the earth as you push yourself first into that modified plank. From there we come into high plank, hips go high as we come into downward facing dog. In Sanskrit this is called Adho Mukha Shavasana. Heels lift high, gaze looks to the fingertips, go ahead and tiptoe the feet all the way to the hands back and forward fold. As we reverse swan dive, which means we do that opposite movement all the way back up to the top, hands meet at the center of your heart, pull all the way back down and do it again. Inhale, come into that halfway lift, straightening the back as much as you can. Exhale, hands come back to the ground, stepping the legs back into a high plank. From there, drop down to the knees, untuck the toes, lower the body all the way down. Inhale up into cobra. Exhale as you release the upper body down. Go ahead and push yourself all the way back into down dog. However you may get there, use the strength in your upper body. Go ahead and lift up both of your heels as the gaze looks high up to the fingertips. Walk those feet all the way up to the hands and forward fold. Rising all the way back up into Tadasana, Mountain Pose. Hands meet at the top and then they come down to our heart. That is kind of the foundation. From here, we're going to take it one step further. Let's go ahead and fold all the way back down to forward fold. Hands meet the earth. Coming back into that halfway lift pose. This can also be called monkey pose. Go ahead and release the hands back to the floor on all fours. As you come into a high plank, lowering the elbows about halfway down, come onto the tops of the feet, straighten the arms, coming into upward facing dog. Curling the feet underneath you, hips go back up to the sky into downward facing dog. Heels lift high, gaze six to fingertips, tiptoe those feet back to forward fold. As you reverse swan dive all the way up, hands reach high, palms and fingertips touch. Go ahead and bring them down to your heart as you fold down to forward fold. Inhale, come into your halfway lift. You can just come onto the fingertips as you extend the back, release back to forward fold as you step the legs behind you. Finding either upward facing dog or cobra, whichever you prefer, use the strength in your upper body and your arms, push back into downward facing dog on your exhale. Inhale as the heels lift high, go ahead and tiptoe all the way back to forward fold. You should be feeling your body get warm. Go ahead and reverse swan dive all the way up to the top. Remember to keep breathing through your nose. Let's bring the hands down to our heart. All right, once again, taking it one step further, go ahead and fold all the way down to forward fold. Inhale as you find that halfway lift, whichever that looks like for you. Exhale back to forward fold. Option here to hop the legs back. As you inhale, finding your flow, up dog or cobra. Exhale, hips come back up to the sky, heels lift high as you can either walk or hop those feet all the way back up to the hands. If you do hop, try to keep both legs straight and both legs together. Let's reverse swan dive all the way back up to the top. Hands come back to the heart. Let's do that again. Exhale, fold down the forward fold. Inhale, finding halfway lift. Exhale, place the hands back into forward fold, stepping or hopping those legs back high plank. Inhale, up dog and exhale into downward facing dog. Inhale as the gaze looks to the fingertips, heels lift high, 
hopping or walking those feet back to forward fold. Reverse swan dive all the way up to the top. Take a deep breath. From here, make sure your feet are about hip width distance apart as you come into chair pose. Go ahead and suck your belly into your spine. Shift the hips down. Make sure there's no curve in your low back. Go ahead and release the hands down to the floor into forward fold. From here, you find that halfway lift. Exhale, the hands come back to the ground, hopping or walking the feet back to high plank. Inhale, upward dog or cobra, your choice. Exhale into down dog. Take a big breath. In your inhale, we're going to find the leg lift on our left side. Lift that leg high. Exhale as you pull it into your chest, drop it in between the hands. We're then going to lower down that right heel as we rise up into warrior one. Virabhadrasana one. Hips are squared towards the side just a little bit, but your shoulders are squared towards the top of your mat. Biceps are held close to the ears. Palms are shining towards each other. Deep breath through the nose. Continue your breath. Release the hands down to the earth as you bring that left foot back to downward facing dog. Go ahead and do the same on the other side. Starting with that leg lift, lift it as high as you can, and then go ahead and pull it all the way through. Curving down that left heel now, helping you rise all the way up into warrior one. Front leg is bent dramatically, back leg is straight. Keep your breath focused through your nose. Go ahead and release the hands down to the earth. Stepping that leg all the way back to downward facing dog, taking an exhale. Inhale, either hopping or walking those feet back forward fold. Exhale there. Inhale as you reverse swan dive all the way back up to the top. All right, my new yogi, thank you so much for watching this video. If you liked it, don't forget to give me that thumbs up, supporting me, and if you have not yet subscribed, go ahead and do that as well, just so you can always be updated about all the fun videos that I'm going to post in the future. So thank you again for tuning in. I hope you liked it. If you are a fan of the Instagram, my dog here has a Instagram account called at Asher Golden Doodle, A-S-H-E-R, and then Golden Doodle. That's you! <gasps> Do you have an Instagram? <gasps> what? <gasps> you want to go? Where are we going? <gasps> Asher? <laughs> what? Can you say hello? Can you say subscribe to my channel? <laughs>